you know, the Muslim, the Muslim tradition, and it's not dissimilar to the Western tradition before the, uh, you know, the end of the 19th century. The, the Muslims believe that the great gift that young children had was memorization. Uh, that the, the mind is very agile and the ability to absorb a lot of information is, is readily available to a child of about seven. And so they would focus on memorizing, rote memorization without understanding. At about 12, the intellect really starts kicking in. This is what, what they call sinutamiz is seven, where they're moving out of the magical realm because children before seven are in a, they're in a magical world which is why the prophet sallallahu alaihi prohibited you know you cannot strike a child before seven years of age um, and uh, and you, you shouldn't because they're not there's no taklif at all at about seven taklif starts kicking in it's not there but it now they can really understand and people say no no, no they know before seven my five-year-olds know they don't they're not capable of lying. A five-year-old, people will say, no, he's lying. I know he is. They're not. In their world, there are different possibilities. You know, really. I mean, quite literally, there are different possibilities. So if they break something at five or four, and you say, who broke that? I don't know. You know, that is a, a totally viable answer for a four-year-old. And it's not a lie. They're not, they're not m making it up. It's just in their world, it's perfectly acceptable for them not to know who broke it, even though they know they broke it. But at seven, it's different. Now they know they broke it. And they know that's the only real possible answer. <laughs> so that is the beginning of Tamiz. And then by 12, 13, as puberty begins to settle in, um, the logic kicks in. Now, what's interesting is in all pre-modern societies, mathematics was not taught to children other than basic rote memorization only. They, they did not teach any mathematics to children before 12 or 13. And it is well documented that uh, a child can learn all of the mathematics that we teach between 6 and 12, they can learn between 12 and 13, all of it. And they actually learn it better and they understand it, and they don't get the math phobias that a lot of, a lot of people are traumatized from, from mathematics because they were taught too early, and so it's too abstract. Mathematics is very abstract. It's a completely abstract subject, and there's, the child's not in the abstract world yet. They're still in the world of just sensory experience. They haven't entered into abstraction. So... That, that's really why, that was the understanding, that you didn't want to traumatize. In fact, Steiner, I mean, I'm not a big fan of Steiner, so I'm not promoting him or anything, but Steiner argued that if you introduce mathematics or logic to prepubescent children, you'll actually disrupt the process of their, like the menage, the, the onset of puberty will change. You'll affect these things. So you'll get earlier onset puberty because you're, you're disrupting a natural uh, evolution. And these, 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 this is the wisdom of, of ancient peoples. So...